Welcome to this video on Star Delta Starter with Phase Failure Relay. In this video, we will provide a detailed explanation of the power and control circuit of a Star Delta Starter with Phase Failure Relay. A Star Delta Starter is an electrical motor starting mechanism that helps reduce the inrush current to the motor during the starting process. In this video, we will explore how a star delta starter works and understand its significance in the electrical industry. Inrush current refers to the sudden surge of current that flows through the motor during the starting process. This surge can be up to six times the rated current of the motor, which can cause damage to the motor windings, mechanical components, and the electrical supply system. To prevent this, the Star Delta Starter is used. The Star Delta Starter works by reducing the voltage across the motor windings during the starting process. This is achieved by connecting the motor windings in a star configuration during the starting process, which reduces the voltage across each winding and, in turn, reduces the current drawn by the motor. Once the motor has reached a certain speed, the contactors are switched to the delta configuration, which provides full voltage to the motor windings. This transition is automatic and happens within a few seconds, making it a reliable and efficient way of starting motors. The Star Delta Starter is used in various applications, including pumps, fans, compressors, and conveyor belts. It is particularly useful in situations where a large number of motors need to be started simultaneously or where the electrical supply system is not capable of handling the inrush current. In this Star Delta Starter, the components used include an MCCB, molded case circuit breaker, three contactors named main contactor K1, delta contactor K2, and star contactor K3, overload relays, a timer, a motor, three single-phase MCBs, miniature circuit breakers, phase failure relay. Start and stop push buttons, and stop, trip, run, and phase failure indicators. These components are used to control a three-phase induction motor. Starting with the power circuit, the three phase lines L1, L2, and L3 come into the main MCCB. The output of the MCCB then goes to the main contactor K1, and all three phases L1, L2, and L3 loop with the delta contactor K2. The three input terminals of the star contactor are shorted with each other. The output terminals of the delta contactor K2 are shorted with the output of the star contactor K3, with T1 shorted to T1, T2 to T2, and T3 to T3. The output of the main contactor L1, L2, and L3 passes through the overload relay and goes to the motor terminals, with R connected to U1, Y connected to V1, and B connected to W1. Similarly, three wires R, Y, and B come from the delta contactor K2 and connect to the motor connection box, with the red face connected to W2, yellow connected to U2, and blue connected to V2. This circuit is called the power circuit of the Star Delta Starter. Now, let's take a closer look at the control circuit of the Star Delta Starter in this video. We begin by taking the R, Y, and B phases from the output of the main MCCB and connecting them to the three single phase MCBs. The outputs of these MCBs are then connected to the L1, L2, 
and L3 terminals of the phase failure relay. Here, we select the B phase and connect it to the common terminal of the phase failure relay, while also taking a line from the normally closed contact of the phase failure relay and connecting it to the common terminals of the overload relays 95 and 97. 95 has a normally closed terminal with 96, and 97 has a normally open terminal with 98. A wire from the normally closed contact, 96, of the overload relay goes to the stop push button, which has a closed contact and open when pressed. From the second terminal of the stop push button, a wire goes to the start push button. The start push button has a normally open contact that is closed when pressed. A wire from the second terminal of the start push button goes to the coil of the main contactor K1, and the same wire also goes to the run indicator lamp, which will glow when the motor is running. A wire from the first terminal of the start push button goes to the normally open contact of the K1 main contactor and loops with the normally closed contact of the K1 contactor. The second terminal of K1 normally opens contact loops to the coil of K1. A wire from the second terminal of the start push button also goes to terminal 8 of the timer, which is the common terminal for terminals 5 and 6. Terminal 5 is normally closed with 8, and terminal 6 is normally open with 8. The same wire also loops with the normally open contact of K3. The second terminal of the normally open contact of K3 goes to terminal 7 of the timer, which is the coil contact of the timer. A wire from the normally open contact of K3 also loops with the normally open contact of K2. A wire from the normally closed contact of the timer contact 5 goes to the normally closed contact of the K2 delta contactor. Another wire from the second normally closed contact of the K2 delta contactor goes to the coil contact of the K3 star contactor. A wire from normally open contact of timer terminal 6 pass through normally close contacts of K3 contactor and go to K2 coil contact. In the video, you can see that a wire from the second normally open contact of the K2 delta contactor loops with the normally closed contact of K3. A wire from the normally closed contact of K1 goes to the stop indicator lamp, which will glow if the motor is in the off position. Additionally, a wire from the normally open contact of the overload relay goes to the trip indicator lamp, which will glow if the overload is tripped. As seen, a wire from the normally open contact of the phase failure relay goes to the phase failure indicator, which will light up in case of a phase failure or if it goes above or below the set limit. The neutral wire from the neutral link is connected to the phase failure indicator, run indicator, trip indicator, and stop indicator lamps. The neutral wire also goes to the coil of the timer terminal 2. The neutral wire also goes to the coil of the main contactor K1, and loops with the coils of K2 and K3 contactors. So, in conclusion, the control circuit of the star delta starter with phase failure relay plays a crucial role in ensuring the smooth operation and protection of the motor. From the main MCCB to the overload relay and timers, each component works in sync to provide efficient and reliable motor control. The phase failure relay adds an additional layer of protection by monitoring the phases and providing alerts in case of any abnormalities.
We hope this video has provided you with a clear understanding of the control circuit of the Star Delta starter with face failure relay. Thank you for watching.